<laughs> hey, we're going to talk about going to the movies a little bit. Okay. Clint Eastwood made a movie out there. It's based on a true story. It's called The 1517 to Paris. It's just pushing us towards something, like some greater purpose. The 1517 to Paris, that's the name of a train, a particular train that back in 2015 had a terrorist on board with 500 passengers and the terrorist had an automatic weapon and he was going to wipe out the passengers on the train, but these three young men were on the train, two of them with military experience, and they reacted and saved all the passengers. One of them was injured, and uh, it ended up being a great story. 2015, that's when it happened. It happened in France. And uh, what's particularly great about this, Clint Eastwood read the book that these boys wrote about this, these men wrote about this thing that happened, and he said he was going to make a movie. And when he went to make a movie and started talking to the different stars that would star as these young men, and then he met the young men, he thought, why not put the young men in the story to tell their own story? That's remarkable. Wow, that ever happened before? I don't, I don't feel like it ever has. And um, I think quite heroes, not only that they do it once, but have to relive those moments over and over again. Because you know it's not just one take on so many, some of these things. Have to relive that. Yeah. They're brave. Yeah, they're, they're fine kids too. So you can take a listen here and listen to them talk about like, you know, having this opportunity. Like, yes, immediately. Yeah. And then I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say yes to? I, I tried to talk us out of it, kind of, because I was just nervous, because it was out of the realm of my possibilities. Like, I was just like, you know, actors should do it for the success of the film. I don't want to salt the movie's success by us doing it. And the special was like, are you really going to wake up 20 years from now and be like, we had the opportunity but declined? And I was like, we're in. So It was mostly just shock. I mean, we never saw that coming at all. Like, we didn't even, like, think about it as, like, a possibility or even, like, a dream or, like, any of it, really. So, like Anthony said, though, the biggest debate was if we wanted actors to do it, you know, it would probably be a for sure success. But then how are you going to turn down the opportunity of playing in your, yourself in your own movie and being able to, you know, have that kind of influence on it as well? We were just incredibly grateful for the opportunity. Think how crazy nervous you'd be about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never acted a day in your life. Yeah. But then, you think about how, then think about how crazy nervous you are running at a terrorist who's pointing a gun <laughs> right at you. Yeah, yeah. So which, which is worse. two different so things. Yeah, so, so Clint Eastwood is sort of famous for when he makes a movie, He'll do like one take and go on, move on to the next thing. Sometimes they'll do a rehearsal take and he uses the rehearsal take. So he makes movies really fast and so they're very, you know, earthy. You know, it's like you get the real deal. So he talked a little bit about making the movie with these kids. I just thought it would be, uh, I, I just, one day it just came upon me. I thought, well, I wonder if they could play it because I'd been looking at actors, some of them really quite good, uh, could have played it. And, uh, but then I thought, this would be the real deal, you know, and I want it to be the real deal as much as possible. And for me, as a producer of the film, I just want the public to see it as accurate as, as can be and, uh, and, and not to make it feel like they're watching a performance, but uh, which is every actor's desire in, in every picture. You know, they're trying to make it as, as real as you can do, but sometimes they're put in situations that are impossible. And, uh, but this, uh, I just, th th this, uh, I just felt that they would reenact this well, because the more they talked about it, the more it seemed logical. And the rest of it was just insanity, kind of, which I'm very good at. <laughs> <laughs> he is very good at it. He's a great guy. I remember the first time I met him, I was at the Oscars, and they come down the red carpet, and he stops in front of me, and I go, 1967, I cut school to see your movie Fist Full of Dollars. It was fantastic. It was, I, I'll never forget it. And he goes, well, I hope you went on to finish your education. <laughs> <laughs> he's always like that. It's just a straight on kind of smooth talk. All right. He's yeah. impressive. That movie's going to be yeah. Yeah. It's really a great, quite it's, a thing. It's a great story. Those kids are definitely, young men are definitely heroes.